we are taking uh, a really wonderful collection of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art that is part of the wider Australian art story to a London audience. Some 50 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander paintings will be travelling to London for the Royal Academy exhibition. And these are the very best of Aboriginal art, both historical and contemporary. So it is covering quite a depth and breadth. The earliest Aboriginal work that we have in the collection is from the 1800s, and of course our most recent is from 2012. From little things, big things grow. From little things, big things grow. Organising of so many works, not only from the National Gallery, but from wonderful collections around Australia. To collect all those works, to conserve them in time uh, for the exhibition, to crate them, uh, courier them in different secret planes uh, to London is quite a, a difficult and complex operation involving many, many, many people from registration and conservators to creators to painting handlers as well as curators. From little things, big things grow. From little things, big things grow. I wanted to knock their socks off. I think that what's going is a knockout. And it's really something that the general public of the Northern Hemisphere, not only England, know very, very little about. You know, they might know Sidney Nolan, they might even know Arthur Boyd, but beyond that, they know nothing. And I think that this is terribly exciting. From little things, big things grow. From little things, big things grow. Cyclic changes in the Australian landscape are very, very dramatic. And this somehow conditions us to looking at the landscape in a different way. We have also, uh, through the very good influence and wisely, took the, uh, the advice of uh, Aboriginal art in, in which that the best way to view the Australian landscape was slightly airborne. From little things, big things grow. We persuaded the other lenders and ourselves that we would not hold back on anything, that all the great works that could go will go and have. People have been very generous, we've been very generous, and we know Britain will be very appreciative of so many of the masterpieces of Australia leaving for this one big survey of Australia, the largest there's ever been outside Australia. We will be looking after the work really carefully, but we also are feeling very proud and very, um, I think, honoured to be at this place where we celebrate Australian Indigenous art at this level. Remember, we borrow great works from around the world, so we've got to share our works with the world as well.